and thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. So today I have a quick, cute, fun fold card for you, and I think you're really going to love this. Before we get started, just a reminder, stop by the Stampers Delight Apparel Shop stampersdelightshop.com where you can get some great uh, Christmas gifts for yourself or the stamper in your life or paper crafter. You do want to do that soon if you want to get these by Christmas. We have the Dear Santa sweatshirt. We have the matching ornament or you can even put that on the gift as a tag. And of course we have mugs and so many other items. A reminder, I just announced the December online card class. That is going to be with the amazing year. You also get a half a pack of the pretty prints, the ribbon, and the elegant gems. You'll get a card kit to make six cards, three designs, two of each. There's no sampler class for the month of December. That will be back in January. And the link will be below to join just remember you do have to join by december 10th and the class goes out around december 20th the other class that's going on is the sweet delicious fun fold club with donna gray and i and that's with the sun prints you do get um the designer series paper you get the elegant trim you get some rhinestones and that is now run the same way as my online class you will get a link to a full length tutorial video which um, will help you step-by-step step do your cards, your projects, and you will also get still shots. Um, we used to do it as Facebook uh, group. However, not everybody's on Facebook, so this uh, now is done through YouTube, a YouTube link. Okay, let's get started. So again, let me have some coffee here and get this party started. Let me put my coffee over there before I spill it okay so what i'm going to show you and i am going to show you some other um samples but i'm using the uh sweet candy cane christmas or sweet candy canes the christmas banners which is the sweet christmas now for this card i'm going to bring in a base what i'm going to go ahead and score that this to me looks like it might be a little bit bigger than what i need Okay, and I'm going to use my scoring tool to fold that. You can also use your bone folder. Then I have a piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. Whoop, got something stuck on the back of there. I accidentally did this ahead of time. Sorry. So this white is four by five and a quarter, and then the um, Garden green is three and three quarters by five. And this is the whimsical trees. I got glue on this already. So that's why I'm wanting to put it down. Okay. So there's your base card. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in a piece of six by six designer series paper. And I am going to fold that just like this. I don't know why I want to call this a tea bag card but I do. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this point and I'm just going to fold that. I don't really have a direction, but what you can do is just grab both of those and pull it up like this. So you got like this little, I don't know, crown or tea bag holder is what I want to call it. So you see how I'm doing that? I think once I fold it, I can give you an idea of if you're the kind of person, which is fine, that wants the exact fold, it's going to be, I'll do it this way, there's that fold, it's about two and a half inches, okay, from each side. I've done several of these, and trust me, they come out no matter how you do them, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just glue that down so it doesn't go anywhere. Put a little glue here, just like that. Then I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna flip that down. So now you can see the 
opposite side. And I like to glue this down. You can leave it up like that where it's like more three-dimensional, but I like to glue it down. This is actually going to go right here on my card. And I'm going to use dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals here. Let's see what ones I have out. I have some I need to finish using up here yet. So I'll grab my take your pick tool. And I'm going to flip that over. And I'm going to add some of these. Please uh, leave your comments, questions below. I do read them and I will answer them. Um, sorry I couldn't be live with you. Be uh, with the holiday and everything. So I'll be back live soon. But in the meantime, I knew you would like this. Last minute gift uh, gift giving or Christmas cards. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. I'm going to put that aside for a second. I'm going to grab these textural elements and grab two of those. I will tell you, there's a lot of wood elements I, I always say I'm not really crazy about. Yes, you heard it here. I know I usually love everything, but these I absolutely love. So I am taking our blends and I am coloring in the wood element for some berries please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel share it and also uh, follow me on facebook it really does help us as demonstrators this is an this one you can see my Tip is getting a little worn. I do use my blends very a lot. <laughs> and I'm using cherry, uh, dark red and also old olive. So I'm just going to, if it's easier, we'll just take the nubby end or bullet end. Clint, you're going to do that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our Winkastella. And yes, you can put Winkastella on just about everything. You don't need to do the back side. I'm just going to add some Winkastella to this. Don't forget our Last Chance products start December 1st. You're going to want to hop on and order those Last Chance products. Once they're gone, they're gone. And some of them are up to 60% off. You can also sign up for my free newsletter and tutorials. And that will have that already has the list. I already put one out there. So you definitely want to check that out. So now what I'm going to do, these are going to go right here. Just like that. And for this, I'm going to switch to my liquid glue. I don't want to put too much on there. It'll take a couple minutes to dry, but I'm going to tuck that right back there. I'll do the same thing with this side. And that'll go right there. Now what I'm going to do is I already uh, cut these out. So I'm going to just add these here. So these I these are with the dies, and those little guys are going to go right there. But I really want that to pop out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I did a circle from the stylish dies. I'm going to put that back there, and then by doing that, you can see my candy canes a little bit better. Go ahead and do that, and then grab these pieces and again I like to use all of my dimensionals even the side pieces and these side pieces are usually great for anything that's a longer piece just like that and let's use this side I get excited when I can open a new pack of dimensionals it's like Christmas to me Okay, so these uh, candy canes I used with the dies that come with the 
candy canes. And they have two dies, so they go diff opposite ways. So this one is going to go right here. And this one's going to go in there like that. Cute so far, right? Here is from the Christmas banners. And I am going to grab the Tis the Season. And then again, here's where I can use that side piece. This might be a little too long, so I'm just going to break that off. And that is going to go right up here. Now, I think what I want to do is I want to grab some gems. I don't see those on the table. Let me just take a quick peek. I thought I brought them over. Maybe I didn't. Oh. Let me grab my ribbon and the gems. The ones I want to add, and I'm not seeing. Oh, maybe that's where they are. Here we go. Let's grab these. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I have my ribbon. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and make a little bow. Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't forget something on my work table here, right? This is actually where I... Um, do my videos, and my work table is behind me. Okay, so there we have a cute little bow. I can play around with that, get it the way I want. And I think I'm going to play with that tail. Just, oh, I like the bow large like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to put that bow right here. And then just snip it off just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring in some red rhinestones and finish that off. I always like to put them on the banners. And then I'll add a couple more. Whoop, those are two together. Well, I guess they want to stay together, so we'll leave them that way. And maybe one up here. Cute little fun fold, right? Okay, but we're not done yet. Uh, let's grab the inside. This little guy came off, so let's put him right back there. For the inside, I am using, again, from that suite, Make Good Times Become the Cherished Memories of Tomorrow. And then I'm going to grab the little sprig from that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the inside. I'm going to grab my envelope. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to do the same thing. So today's Friday, and I'm wondering how many people are out there shopping on Black Friday. That's normally my thing to do, regardless of whether I need anything or not. I just love to be out there with all the hustle and bustle. But the reason why I couldn't be live was not because I was out shopping, was actually because we are celebrating our Thanksgiving today on Friday. Our son and daughter-in-law got home from California last night on Thanksgiving night. So we are celebrating today. And they will be here for the next five days. So that's why I like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know when I can hop on. And there we have a cute fun fold, which I don't know why I want to call it a tea bag card. It just reminds me of that. And I think it's because I made these and put little tea bags in them. And you'll see that in a second. And there we have a quick, cute card. Now, let me show you some variations. And this is the same thing. I just used some of our red glitter paper back there so that the candy canes stood out. And, of course, our sequins. So I changed that up just a little bit. 
Then what I did, and again, this is with the sweet candy cane Christmas sweet with the peaceful deer. And you've seen me use that before. These are in the annual catalog. I love the way this one came out. The deer are actually going up. And there's Rudolph with a little red nose. Best time of the year. This die, and I apologize. I forgot which um, stamp bundle it came from. But I will put that down. I liked it so much I made extras here so that I could use them as I'm stamping. So here's another variation of that with the peaceful deer. Then I made one also with the Christmas Scotties. Let's move that out of the way. And still shots will be on my blog, stampersdelight.com. So here is the Christmas Scotties. It's like that with the little Scotties hanging out. Now these were our new gems with the fitting florets, which are sold out. But you can see this comes out just as cute with those little Scotty dogs. And then I did, here's why I called it the tea bag card, I think. This is with the fitting florets. That might be where that dies from. And uh, this is with the time-worn embossing folder back there. Measurements are all the same. Now you can send this to somebody and put a little peppermint tea in there. So that was another variation. But what you can also do is, and this is, of course, with the uh, Santa Claus is coming to town, elf approved, is use this for a gift card holder. So you can put a gift card back there or money or scratch off lotto tickets, whatever you want. You can stick something right back there. You can even put it in one of those Ghirardelli chocolates. So again, this is with the whimsical die and you can make that into a gift card. I hope you enjoyed this segment and I hope you enjoyed these cards that I did with this cute little six by six paper. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, and then just click the link uh, or go to stampersdelight.com and you will see the still shots once I release those. Again, thank you for joining in. Have a great holiday season since it has started and I will be back with you soon. Don't forget to subscribe so you know when I'm here. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.